inside an SS from it's an SSD.net right now. This is our sailboat. Anybody who is uh, sailing or by the ocean a lot and is thinking about a drone, this is the one to go for because it's waterproof. So that's why we got it. Uh, spend a lot of time on the water and it's nice to know we can land it in the water and it's not going to get destroyed. But right now we're going to talk about um, setting up your, your camera to receive um, video. It's, we're going to deal with the VTX, which is the video transmitter, and the FPV, which just stands for first person view. So that's how you get your eyes in the sky is on this little screen here. So first things first, um, we're going to power this on just by holding the power button on the right here. And get your beautiful Swell Pro um, logo showing up. And then we're just going to set that aside for now. Now the tricky part, actually sorry, we should have also put our antennas on. The tricky part with, uh, with the manual is just trying to understand what it's talking about when it's talking about the VTX. So if you just take a look inside the drone this here. This is the VTX in here, this little blue square. You can see all of the, the switch labeling down here, the different uh, channels that you can get. There's up to 32 of them. At this point, I'm just going to keep it simple. That's what I've been doing with this drone, is keeping it on frequency A, channel 1. And you could choose a different one. I think it would only really make a difference if you're in a place with a lot of other drones or different interferences where you might want to you know, change your frequency. So at least this way you'll know how. Um, but when you do get the drone, it's going to come with all the switches either up or down or who knows. It's best to just check it over and decide what you want to choose. And the way to understand it is these first three switches, there's six of them in total. So just to note, the last switch, number six, is not used. It doesn't matter whether it's up or down, not for us. Maybe down the road it might get more advanced and then be useful, but right now it's not. The first three are going to be how you choose your channel. And then the fourth and the fifth are going to be how you choose the frequency. So in our case, you can see right here on this in this first little diagram, it shows that frequency A means that the fourth and the fifth one are switched up. So that's what I've done here. I just have a little pick to, to move them. But if I went to the fourth one, I could switch it down. The fifth one, I could switch it down. Any configuration, you just got to reference the little drawing here and it will tell you. So in this case, I'm just going to switch it all down for now just so we can see. So I'm going to choose my frequency first, or go ahead and choose my channel first. So the channel 1 is just the first three switches up. So that's indicated in the manual as black, meaning it is the switch itself and the position it's in. So channel 1 means first three up, and then frequency A would mean the fourth and the fifth one up as well. And so very simple, if the first five are all in the up, you're on frequency A, channel 1. You can look through and, and uh, you know choose other frequencies, other channels. It's just a matter of understanding which one is up and down. And then remember, number six is not useful at this time. So those are the frequencies and the channels. And then we're going to go and look at the FPV and uh, connect it. OK, so obviously you got to put your um, camera in to the case. Very simple, just like regular GoPro. Just plug in that wire into the USB or mini DV port on the side of the GoPro and then um, turn your GoPro on. Once your GoPro is turned on, it will be able to send the information. And But do realize too that that's going to take up some battery juice. So it's, you know, your battery life is going to be subject to how heavy your thing is, whether your camera is turned on, all that kind of stuff. Then once you've done your VTX, which we did and we picked our, we picked what we wanted, then you're going to come over here to the uh, to the FPV first point of first person view. You're going to turn this on. And once it's powered up, you'll see that it says RF, so the radio frequency. Right now, it's saying that it has no signal. Now we know we turned that on. We know we set what we set it to. You can do one of two things. You can go into the pressing the channel button and choose your own frequency, or just hold down the search button and you'll see that it will turn on and say auto searching. So right now it's going to flip through all the different 32 frequencies and channels and uh, see if it can find the one that, we're, that we've set our VTX to, which was frequency A, or in this case called band A, channel 1. Alright, so it's found something. This is the problem I had when I got the drone. It's an easy fix. Um, all you have to do is, first of all, noticing here that it doesn't have the right band so if I was to just switch to channel 
you can see at the top it says band A. Now I know I chose uh, band B, sorry, and I know I chose band A. So I'm just going to switch that over to band A by pressing the band button. And I know I chose channel 1, so I'm going to switch the channel to channel 1. Still have the same problem with it flipping through. All you have to do is when you get the drone, if this is happening to you, click this, this third button from the right here, that's your menu button. It's going to go into your settings, use your channel and your band to go up and down. We're going to go to the little tool, hammer and wrench. We're going to look at where it says system, it says PAL1. I'm not using PAL1, my video camera is not using that, and if you don't know what your, what your GoPro is using, then you just have to go and um, let it choose for itself. So click the, the menu button to enter into it. We're going to go down to system. We're going to click the menu button again as a select. And we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and say auto. Oops, going backwards. One at a time. We'll check each one. And then when it's on auto, it should re recognize what your camera has chosen. And it will. So I'm obviously on into it. TSC, and there you go. So I noticed one time I had to go, click up to NTSC and then click down to auto, but it will, once you shut it off, turn it back on, it will recognize it. Then you just go out, and there you go. Now we have our video um, up and running, and if you play with the camera here, you can see that it's working. You do have your volume buttons, which is just by um, pressing the band button first. So if you want to go into choosing frequency and uh, channel, hit channel first, that will put you into that mode. If you don't want to do that, then you hit band first, and that will put you into the volume mode. And you can turn up your volume and get your volume from there. I leave the volume off because really I don't need to hear anything through the GoPro, um, but it's up to you what you'd like to do. Other than that, these buttons aren't really useful for anything else. You can go into your menu settings and you can change your brightness and your contrast and your sound levels and all that kind of stuff, but I'll leave that up to you to, to choose what you want there. Other than that, on the on this, um, it will show you what you're what you're using on your GoPro. If you're recording, it, I'll press record here. You will see that the the record will turn red, and so that way, when you throw your drone up into the air and you're ready to go do some footage, make sure that you have that on red because it would suck if you spent 20 minutes getting the best footage ever and then got your GoPro back and nothing was on it. And then you got your battery power over here, and this is all information being sent from the GoPro. Make sure you charge this up before you go out every time so that it doesn't uh, die out while you're out there. And that's how you set up your FPV.